Hi, it's Morgana here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted uh, this beautiful dew-strung spiderweb uh, or cobweb uh, beneath an, an ear of corn. Uh, so to start with, um, I'm beginning already with my pencil outline uh, and I've just uh, masked it over uh, with some masking fluid or drawing gum. I'll just show you the one that I use here. It's Pabo, 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 uh, not quite sure. If anybody knows how to pronounce that properly, please tell me in the comments. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see I've masked out the whole outline because uh, the way that I'm going to do this and still get that lovely brightness uh, in the spiderweb is uh, first mask and then uh, I'm going to do a wash. Uh, lovely, uh, simple background wash. Um, I want beautiful, vibrant summer colours here, like a sort of harvest type feel to it. So I'm using uh, raw sienna first, just to painting that on there. You can see how uh, how quickly it's going on, the nice uh, nice vibrant colour, uh, and it's really going on really smoothly with the water that's already on there. So I'm really pleased about that. Uh, my next colour is going to be cerulean blue. Love that, little wash there. Uh, I think these two colours uh, are excellent friends. I think they work really, really well together, uh, especially if you uh, want to do a, a, a summer painting or anything with a little bit of blue sky and uh, a little bit of sunshine. You can see there, just taking a little bit of extra paint out of the pan there for my raw sienna. Just dabbing it all in, blending those colours in a bit, getting rid of any, uh, any white spots. You can see I've started to get a little bit of green coming in through the sides here. Uh, this is a bonus, this was uh, not planned, but I'm really pleased about it, considering this is supposed to be like a, a summer harvest type scene. Uh, nothing wrong with a little bit of green. Uh, in the fields there. Uh, lovely abstract wash, really pleased with that. So now it's time to uh, time to let that dry and then we'll get on to the next step. So you can see here our wash has dried. Uh, I'm really happy with how that's come out and I've just removed all the masking fluid very gently just by rubbing it off with my fingertips. Uh, and so now to begin uh, some more painting. So I'm beginning to do uh, this lovely ear of uh, corn, or, or not corn, uh, wheat, I believe, ear of wheat. Uh, and to do that, um, I'm beginning to use a really, really lovely uh, Jambo's yellow, uh, lovely and bright, lovely summer, summer yellow colour uh, to just fill in the, uh, essentially, uh, the frame, really, for this spider web. And you can see here, just doing a little, little ear of wheat. Um, and doing the detail in light red, which uh, I'm putting on as the yellow is uh, still a little wet. So you can see there, it's blended in slightly. It's uh, not giving too much definition. We don't want any really harsh lines here. Uh, I will come back in later with uh, the light red and the fine brush to just give a little extra definition on those wheat ears. Uh, but for now, just you can see here, I'm blending in the colors. So here I am with the light red. You can see there, I've just done some tiny little loops with the very fine brush just to give definition onto those corn ears. Just moving it along a little bit, showing you the process again. 
lovely soft yellow colour, this Gambo's yellow. Really, really nice, very bright. <laughs> My favourite yellow, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. And now you can see here, I've managed to uh, do all of these beautiful, lovely little wheat ears, just uh, tamping them off with a little tissue. That's uh, a good tip in case you end up getting more paint on your paper than you mean to, or more water. Just dab it up, and uh, as long as you're careful, I should be fine. Just, you know, do these last few ears. You can see again, just being really careful with the fine brush, uh, and just gently going over the little yellow wheat ears and doing some detail. So now we come to the final stage of uh, this painting, and uh, it's rather a long one, but it's definitely worth it. We're going to paint in our spider web, concentrating on uh, these beautiful dewdrops that have been strung along each individual strand. Uh, and to do that, I'm using Purple Lake, uh, and I'm just going in, and if you can see there, I am painting uh, the top half of each water droplet. I'm doing almost uh, almost as little a semicircle here, you know, on the on all the small ones and all the large ones. You can probably see it easiest on the large ones, but uh, a semicircle of dark colour on the top uh, and leaving the uh, the bottom part white uh, because that's how naturally the water would reflect and carry the light uh, in the uh, in the natural world. And I'm just going to go around. And I'm going to do exactly the same process uh, for each and every individual little water droplet on here. Um, as you can imagine, this was rather time consuming. So I would suggest doing this one over a couple of days um, because uh, I foolishly barreled at it all at once and uh, ended up with wrist ache afterwards. <laughs> um, but that's what you get for, for loving something, I suppose, and being enthusiastic about it and wanting to finish it. Uh, you can see here it's quite, uh, you really want a fine brush here. I'm using a triple zero round brush um, and as anything of a similar size really I would recommend for this because you really need uh, a steady hand uh, and to really do some fine detail here. Uh, that goes for the, uh, for the masking process as well. 
In order to get these fine lines and careful circles, you really need to be careful with the masking fluid or drawing gum, whatever you uh, prefer to call it. Um, that needs to go on quite carefully as well, so I would again suggest a very fine brush for that. Uh, and take your time, most importantly. You can see here I'm just going over some of these uh, some of these ones that have come up a little lighter as they're drying because I want this purple to really show through and uh, you know and these 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 dew dots to really catch the eye uh, of whoever's looking at the painting obviously because uh, the spider web is the focal point so uh, you can see I'm just going around again uh, this is quite labour intensive I won't show you it all because uh, it's going to get very boring to watch after a little while but yes just Little, little semicircles along the top, um, uh, just rinse and repeat <laughs> until you're finished. And there we are, all done, <laughs> finally. Uh, I think this, this took me several hours, I, I did lose track after a while, of course drying time takes up some time, um, but I'm actually so happy with how this turned out. I'm so excited to share this one with you. I really hope that some of you watch this and have been inspired uh, to have a go to do something similar. Uh, you can see that lovely purple colour is not one you'd expect to use for dewdrops. It's not one I expected to use, but after seeing the background colours and seeing the corn, um, I think the purple really jumps out and really just makes it zing. Um, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, and I'm pleased that you stay till the end to watch as well. So thank you so much for that. Uh, please keep coming back to my channel if you enjoy my content. I will be posting more art videos uh, soon. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and all, as always, um, have a lovely rest of the day and uh, happy painting.